For nearly four decades, CNN has been a constant here in the United States and around the world. Our journalists in front of and behind the camera risk their lives in the most dangerous of places every day so you know the truth. Where disaster hits, where war erupts, we're there. Where dictators fall, where citizens rise, we're there. Where fists are raised, blood is shed, and where heroes are made, we're there. Because the relentless pursuit of the truth and the outright rejection of any attack against it is something we still hold sacred, always will. So no matter how many insults or blatant assaults, blatant assaults on the press and its freedom, this pursuit is something for which we will never bend nor break. And even the loudest critics can't silence the facts. Less than a kilometer away, firing at the special forces position. This is a constant day in day out. Wait, wait, wait. Panicked family now trapped in their room smashed the window and screamed for help. We managed to get the mother across to safety using a foam mattress and it immediately became clear the cause of her panic. Their daughter was severely disabled. They and we are caught in the open. It's started up in front of them. Seemingly taking a hot shot. Something in the distance. A lot of our fighters then opened up. Then there was some big return fire. Minutes into our flight now, Sabina stops breathing. This young woman is going into cardiac arrest. It is aggressive, but I just delivered a cardiac thump, a quick, strong hit to the chest. Whether it worked or not, I can't say for sure, but she came back. This is basically what is left of rebel hell Aleppo. The streets are largely deserted, the buildings have been destroyed, and the people who once lived here have been pushed out. We don't know where the enemy is, but we do know that there is a Taliban stronghold about a kilometer from here at the base of these mountains. Across the world, people watching this broadcast is that Zimbabweans are celebrating. How do you feel? Days of nothing, the insurgents have finally amassed around the compound and beginning an attack on all sides. Come on, hustle up, grab it, and you're ready. Oh! oh. 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 These are locals here who are handing out whatever they have, and you can see the children and the families running to collect. International aid organizations are trying to take a more organized approach. It's really not a matter of if, but probably when, when it comes to North Korea. Well, we've got little Aziza here. She's not happy because she says her father got left behind. All of a sudden, this area fills with smoke. There is concern that there may be another bomb or another attack coming. So they've asked for all the lights to be turned off. They don't want to be a target themselves. They're not welcome on this shore. The Coast Guard waves them further on. How many hours have you been on the boat? Since early in the morning? Do you know how to swim? No one does. We've been waiting the last few hours just to receive word as to whether the auction has started. Mm -hmm. I'm speechless. I, I don't know how to put this into words. There were human beings auctioning off other human beings. We realize we're trapped. Vehicles, wreckage, everywhere. Our MRAP takes us to 
even think having set foot in some parts of Puerto Rico. This woman doesn't even know who I am, but I'm the first person she's seen land here since Hurricane Maria battered the island. CNN and CNN International are not sponsored by any state uh, nor any autocrat uh, nor any political organization. And despite the constant criticism uh, from the president, we are unwavering in our mission, free and independent as the press should be.